This is Elena Wagner on April 5th, 2012, with Paulina Inzirello. Paulina, what was your first impression of the Occupy movement? My first impression of the Occupy movement actually happened not on Berkeley campus, but uh, downtown Oakland. Um, I work for an anti-human trafficking organization right in the heart of where um, all the Occupy movement individuals were gathering. Um, thousands of people were there, and it was um, it was the first time that I had really been exposed to the Occupy movement um, kind of in, a, in its fullest form. Um, and my reaction to it, I mean, I was, I'm in complete support of the movement, um, and it was really interesting to be able to talk with individuals who had actually camped out in Oakland, who had set up tents, um, and who in a lot of cases were you know, police violence, um, and it was just really encouraging to hear a group of people that were so determined um, to really want to create change, and I'm, I'm obviously in full support of that, um, just in a different arena, but, yeah. Did you get involved with Occupy at all? Um, not specifically, um, when it happened here on Berkeley campus, um, I definitely, you know, in terms of gathering at, sp at Sprawl, and then, um, there were a couple of, like, times at night where, um, you know, there was, like, talks going on, and yeah, I mean, I, I participated in my fullest form that I could. Um, I would have loved to be able to give, to have given more time to the cause, but um, to be honest, I, I, as you know, Elena, like, I, I work for an anti-human trafficking organization, and that's kind of where my heart's at and my passion's at, so yeah. any social justice arena, I'm completely, like, you know, so supportive of. And what do you think is at stake in Occupy, and what's at stake for you in Occupy? Um, well, what's at stake in Occupy, really, or, you know, I would say, at stake, you mean in, in like, a positive way, or in a negative way, or how would you, how would you want to, just in general, can I, in general, with that? you can, you can interpret the question okay. however you want. I would say, I mean, I would look at it in, in a positive aspect, in the sense that, you know, it's a really a leveling of a playing field of individuals to be able to, um, you know, demand more of, uh, you know, what this country has so, you know, that's, that's written literally in the documentation that founded this country of, you know, um, people are endowed with unenable rights, um, the idea that people uh, are equal in different areas of life. So, um, so I would say the leveling of the playing field is at stake, and to some that's very intimidating, um, and, you know, uh, giving up power is something that um, I would say any individual would have a, an issue with, um, but in terms of the of greater society at large, it's really important um, for us to be able to lift our voices and to say, hey, I really demand that um, we do, uh, um, are able, that we're able to act in such a way um, and our our society and our government reflects um, just the tenets that, that really created the foundation of this country. Um, so I, I think it's, I think that's really what's at stake and it's kind of interesting to put it, to phrase it in that way um, because it sounds negative, but um, I see it as a very, very positive movement. Um, so I think that's interesting. But. What are you going to remember most from the Occupy movement? Um, there are actually a lot of different things that come to mind when you ask that question, but one specifically that really sticks with me and definitely my heart just kind of... Uh, I'm just very, very frustrated by, by this um, encounter, but I was in downtown Oakland and I was filming... Um, a piece for the anti-human trafficking organization I work for, and this gentleman approached me thinking that I was from Cron 4, um, and I was in the heart of, of, of you know, city center, where there were uh, a bunch of uh, tents set up and individuals that were obviously picketing for uh, Occupy, and um, he just started to talk to me about the Occupy movement and his perspective on it, um, and he just kind of arrogantly and and with such pride just said, I'm, I'm part of the 1%, like I am the 1%. Um, and I was so shocked that someone would just come up and openly say that um, in such a way that really had an underlying tone that dis he completely disregarded um, just all of the um, the efforts that were going on um, by by hundreds that were standing around him, and it was um, that's something that will really really stick with me. Um, and I think it's it's good fuel for those who are are really. shows that there are still individuals that really understand um, this issue, issue at large and at the same time don't, they're kind of ap apathetic towards it. Um, and so I think 
anytime you, you're creating a movement, your goal is to really mobilize the masses and the voices of the masses. And that means even those who are against what it is that you're fighting for, um, but shedding light on the issue and having conversations 